Now, um, I'll start with one huge advantage uh, of Kamasis, which is that you don't need to, uh, the detailer doesn't need to re-enter the entire model once the, um, once the engineer is done with, uh, with the finite element model. But the question is, how is this possible? Because there are so many uh, mistakes, or not, I shouldn't say call, call them mistakes, but there are so many things which are uh, not really taken care of in the um, analysis model that uh, usually the detailers find it more convenient to re enter everything rather than deleting each and every element and, um, you know, um, entering it again. It's, they find it much easier to just delete the whole thing and, uh, and re enter it. Now, there can be many uh, examples of where these, um, the finite element model doesn't really work, but I'll just give you the three of the very important ones. Uh, the first one, which I want to talk about, is the uh, horizontal bracing. So as you can see, this is how it, uh, an engineer would, ha would hand over a model uh, to a detailer. And uh, you know the, the horizontal bracings are not where they should be. So you, what you want to do is you want to maybe rotate them downwards. You maybe you want to uh, push them down, maybe change their offsets to a certain number. And you know, uh, according to whatever detailing requirements you have. Now we do this in Commosis with a revolutionary technology which we call auto adjust. And what auto adjust does is it, it's very customizable. You can change the parameters, but what it does is it converts the finite element model into a model which you can use for detailing. So let's try to do that right now for the horizontal bracing. Now all we need to do is just select the entire building, press enter, go to your profiles. Now if you want to select the horizontal bracing, you just go for the beam group option over here and you double click on the horizontal braces and your horizontal braces are selected all over the building. Now you go to your auto adjust command and uh, inside there are horizontal bracing options, and there are lots of things you can do about from the height of the top of steel and this. And I'm not going to go into the details, but I'm, I'm just going to press OK right now with the standard options. And when I do that, immediately the program finishes off the adjustment of all the horizontal bracing according to my predefined rules. And this, with one simple step, a very major hurdle in using the horizontal bracing has been removed. By, by Comosis. The second example which I want to give relates to vertical bracing. And because the finite element model is maintained by the engineer, the vertical bracing is usually connected like this, that the, the working point is the top of the beam, because the beam is entered as behind, and uh, the, the working points of the vertical bracing are at the top. But this is not the way the detailer wants to do it. And the only way you can do that is to uh, delete them and enter them again to the, to the so that they meet at the center of the beam. And but this is not everywhere. So for example, over here also it'll come to the center of the beam, the working point. But at the base plate point, it is already at the center. So different situations will apply. And once again, all we can use the auto adjust, which basically converts your finite element model into a detailable model. Just select everything as we did before. Press enter. Go to your profiles. Go to the beam group. Go to your vertical braces, double click, and your vertical braces are selected immediately. And just press auto adjust, and just press OK, and immediately your vertical braces will be brought to the middle of the beam, to the middle of the beam, and the ones which are already correct, which is the base plates, will be, will be left as they were. The third example which I want to give relates to trusses, and this is perhaps the most time consuming for the detailer, because in trusses, the members of the web of the truss need to, their center of gravity lines need to meet with the center of gravity lines of the top cord and the bottom cord uh, at one point. But if we zoom in from this analysis to this analysis model, we see that nothing is, nothing meets at a single point. This is the center of gravity line of the top cord, but the, this one is meeting it over here, this, this line is meeting it over here, and this one is meeting it over here. The same problem is at the bottom cord end, nothing is meeting together. And uh, this is such a huge problem that what the detailer typically does is they just deletes all these members and re-enters them from their proper locations and thereby also destroys the finite element model as well and makes it uh, unusable. 
So how can auto adjust help us in this uh, situation? All we do is we just select the, the web members of the trust, press this magical auto adjust button, say OK, and immediately all the elements, the, uh, the diagonal elements are adjusted in such a way, first of all, what I want to tell you that the finite element model is not broken. The finite element model is still connected. But if you come back over here and now we go and select the whole thing and draw our gravity lines, we will see that now we have a totally different picture. These lines, the gravity lines, are all meeting at this point, which, which is passing through the center of the beam. Similarly, over here also, the gravity lines of these uh, angles are meeting at the single point. And now, without, without really doing anything bad to the finite element model, uh, the detailer can just continue uh, his work with this finalized auto-adjusted model. The three examples which I just gave you are just some of the things, uh, a few of the things which auto adjust can do. It can adjust your burdens, it can adjust your girds, it can adjust your vertical braces, horizontal braces, it can adjust your, adjust your splice locations as well, uh, your trusses which I just showed you. Basically, it can bring your uh, finite element model into a model which is usable by the detailer, and this is a huge savings in time because. If the detailer, ha detailer has to re-enter the entire model after the finite element, the engineer guy has already worked on it for a month, and the detailer spends another uh, whatever number of days just re-entering the same stuff, then that's a huge waste, which auto-adjust will um, basically save you from. Now, whenever auto-adjust cannot do something, you can always revert back to your manual adjust commands, which uh, do these modifications like moving things, moving elements left and right without really breaking the finite element model. Uh, but it, with Comosis, most of the time, auto adjust will dramatically reduce, it will not require you to use the manual adjust commands unless there were some very special situations. Most of the time, you will be using this auto adjust technology, and this will get you through your uh, modification phase in a breeze.